Hi everyone, this is Firan and welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to learn reflection of light. And we are going to cover what is reflection, characteristics, conditions of reflection, laws of reflection, types with so many examples. Now before studying, we need to know interaction of light with matters. We have already learned if light pass through the object it is called transmission, if light is absorbed it is called absorption and if light is bouncing back it is called reflection. This is a glass of water and light is passing through the object completely so this object is known as transparent object. If light passes through partially then it is called translucent object and if light may be absorbed or bouncing back to the same medium then the object is known as opaque object if bouncing back then the object should be opaque and this bouncing back is known as reflection examples looking glass we can see backside of the car image in water image in mirror look at this image what is this this is moon but moon is a non luminated object then how do we see moon because reflection see light is coming from the the sun it is falling on the moon and it is reflected back to our eyes we see the moon and this is also reflection in our house bring one mirror and my friend Advik is standing in front of the mirror and what is this this is the image of Advik we'll see closely if there is no light then we cannot see anything it will be totally dark if light comes then we can see so light is one of the main factor for reflection and the mirror so mirror is not there no image mirror is another part for the image and the object it should be opaque object human beings are opaque object so mirror see this portion is the glass and this is the coating in the back side if you see the red coating light is falling on the mirror and cannot cross the mirror because of the coating look at this this ball is bouncing back and the same way light is also bouncing back from the glass see here Advik is standing here see light is coming from the luminous object falling on the object light rays is falling on the mirror and it is coming to the eyes and we see the image in the mirror this is a mirror and all around the mirror it is simply air and we have seen the ball is bouncing back like this and light is also same way will bouncing back on the mirror and it will come back in the same medium like air so light rays is falling on the mirror like this and it is bouncing back to the same medium in this way so we will take one single ray of light so light rays after striking the smooth and shiny surface return to the same medium and this phenomenon is called reflection of light this mirror is smooth and shiny the light which is falling on the mirror is known as incident rays and the point where light is falling on the mirror is known as point of incidence and the light ray which is reflected is known as reflected rays and a perpendicular line on the point of incidence on mirror is known as normal and the angle between the incident rays and normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle between 
reflected rays and normal is known as angle of reflection the object where reflection will be happening the object should be smooth and shiny surface like mirror or water surface or or shiny metals there should be light and an object should be opaque do you know there are laws of reflection yes there are so we will discuss all the laws of the reflection in a simple way laws of reflection this is incident rays and this is reflected rays and this is the normal this is angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection now as per laws of reflection first rule angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so i is equal to r in 3d view if you see this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection rule 2 the incident rays reflected rays and normal all lie in the same plane see it should not reflect in another plane like the pink one pink means it's a different plane so it is not acceptable we can see in the video see these all are in a same plane this incident rays reflected rays and normal all are in a same plane kinds of reflection do you have any idea of the types of reflections there are three types of reflections regular or specular or uniform diffuse reflection and multiple reflection we'll have a very small idea of all regular or specular or uniform reflection here all the parallel incident rays are reflected in parallel only surface is very smooth and reflected rays are parallel diffuse reflection diffuse reflection when the surface is very rough then the reflected rays will not be uniform it will not be parallel it will be haphazard and multiple reflection if we use multiple number of mirrors we can see multiple images and this is known as multiple reflection so are you ready for new learning and new session hope you have understood the session any questions please comment and thank you so much